Hold me, Smeagol, Sam Possible. I'm me, Guz. My name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another reaction video. We are kicking off our all Christmas specials month here on December 2nd with our fourth reaction to Father Ted. This is going to be the Father Ted Christmas special, Christmassy Ted. This premiered on New Year's Eve in 1996, I believe. It's funny, the video we watched, the last Father Ted video we did, um, the uh, one where they thought he was a racist, was actually the episode that came right after this. That episode was the first episode of the third series. This is the last episode of the second series. This one's also special, not just in the sense that it's Christmas, but special in the sense that it's specially long. Uh, the last episode we watched was normal time, around half an hour. This is close to an hour, so strap yourselves in for this one. Get your hotel chocolate and, you know, just snuggle up because we're gonna be here a while, so... <laughs> Unless you, unless within the first five minutes you're like, this fucking cunt talks too much, I'm turning this off. And if you do, well, fair enough, but that's kind of my job. So let's watch it. Alrighty, hope you're ready. Like I said, this is a long one. You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking recently. And Have you? Well, I, I just don't think I'm cut out for the priesthood. What? I think it's time you and I faced facts. What? <laughs> One of the best priests in the country, if not the best. It's a dream, isn't it? Sumter, Sumter. <laughs> Why are you running from this? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I... I don't. I suppose I do. I'll be off, then. <laughs> I said I'll... Yeah, I'll... bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Called it. Dead, oh, Jesus. Uh, what? What? Would you like a peanut? <laughs> <laughs> a peanut? You walk me down for me a peanut? God, Dougal. Oh, sorry, Ted. What's wrong with you? Go to bed. <laughs> no. Where were we? Ooh. I really envy people who can just fall right back asleep. I can't do that shit. I literally, it takes me half an hour to go to sleep. What the fuck? It's like an ad campaign gone wrong. That's not terrifying. Let's do it. Seriously though, no. if you're out there and you can fall asleep right away, how, man? Just how? I, I cannot do it for the life of me. Like, it, it legit takes me 30 minutes to fall asleep. So I envy you if you can do that. Here comes the drone! Meet me! Oh. They're fucking dead. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three! Huzzah! Hey! They are! Oh, they are, Ted! Yeah. Oh, wait now! Uh, what? It's gonna off again. <laughs> Yeah, wait, wait, yeah, that's it, Ted, they're back. No, no they're gone again. Right, oh, right, that, no, keep it like yes. that. Yes. Oh, God, Ted, that's it, Ted. They blinked, you idiot. Right, right, back, gone, back, gone, back, gone, back. Dougal, just sit down. <laughs> oh, Ted, can I open another window on the advent calendar first? All right, then, but remember, you're just allowed to open today's window. Oh, Shepard, great. Fantastic stuff. Hi. Oh, God, Ted, can I not open the other two? No, no. Dougal. God, Ted, I can't wait to find out what's behind tomorrow's one. I, I bet it's a, a donkey or something. Probably. <laughs> All right, so you've uh, changed from your initial prediction. Jesus. What was it again? Rude Hullet sitting on a shed, wasn't it? <laughs> God almighty, Dougal, where do you get these things? Do you know what? I'd say it's probably just a lovely angel. What would you say is behind tomorrow's window, Father Drink. Jack? A pair of fucking women's liquor! <laughs> Or that. Well, who knows? Knickers! Yes, father. <laughs> Women's knickers! Yes, father, yes. Message understood. God almighty. Dougal, leave the calendar until tomorrow. Hey. Look, there's Jesus. There. Don't fall. Don't do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, dear. Another year gone. It's hard to believe, isn't it? I mean... What's it all about, Dougal? Jeez, had a stroke. Well, uh, it doesn't really have a story, Ted. You know, it's just about football and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dougal. I mean life. You know, oh, you slave away attending me. to the needs of your parishioners. And what do you get? 
a one-way ticket to Palookaville. You know, where's Palookaville? I looked in the mirror this morning and I saw a middle-aged, grey-haired man staring back at me. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> Who was that, Ted? <laughs> me, Dougal. Come on, bro. It's just that I got a Christmas card yesterday from Father Jess Flavin. He's in Montana. He makes $50,000 a year and 2,000 in tips. Brilliant. How does he manage that? Well, I don't know, lap dancing or something. <laughs> well, and then there's Father Buzz Dolan in Canada. He has his own show on cable. And I hear he's landed a bit part in the new Bond movie. It all started for him when he won that Golden Cleric Award. Wow. <laughs> Must be great to be famous. Do you know what I love about being famous? People listen to you. They listen to what you have to say. Yeah. And I have a lot to say. What about when you're doing your sermons, Ted? People listen to you then, don't they? Yeah. I'm no dude. I mean people I respect. <laughs> Fuck. I suppose the great oh, thing would be to make a big speech. Day. You see, you just talked right across me there. Even you don't listen to me. I do, Ted. Now, that's not fair. Well, I don't anyway, know, but it just I seems to be that you're going to beat sick recently. I suppose it's a topic. <laughs> so, Father... Are you looking forward to Christmas? Are you OK? I am indeed, Mrs Doyle. A nice, quiet Christmas. That's what I want. A nice, quiet Christmas with no unusual incidents or strange people turning up. That would well, suit me down to the ground. You just, a nice, quiet, normal, everyday Christmas. You just laid out the plot. <sighs> Give it five seconds. Yep, there we go. Oh, there's the door. <laughs> Ding dong ditched. Oh, sweet death. It's a baby. I'm sorry. Uh, is this Mrs. Riley's house? No. Uh, no, Ed, that's uh, just on the road. Oh, thanks very much. Okay, well, fuck that pop then. That's probably for the best. Who was that, Ted? Uh, it's just some woman looking for Riley's house. She had a baby with her. <laughs> For a moment, I thought somebody had just left it on our doorstep. God, Ted, could you imagine what would have happened if she'd left it with us? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> would have been looking after it and everything and getting into all sorts of hilarious jams. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing would have been very, very funny. <laughs> well, uh, it wouldn't have been that funny, Ted. What's that? Actually, no. No. It is a baby, after all. Hey, McDonald's. And the liquids just come out here. Now, Tastes you've already like shit, punched in you know. your selection from milk and sugar, so all the work is taken out of the living room. How's your guys McDonald's? Scarf is kind of weak. time for running a business or scheme. A simple flick of a switch, and you can access coffee, hot chocolate, or Horlicks. Nice. Yes, Tea Master really takes the misery out of making tea. Well, what do you think? Maybe I like the misery. Yes, I, uh, I thought some perfume for Mrs. Doyle. She tried to sell her some hot chocolate. Did. Perfume is the ideal woman present, isn't it? Yeah, that yes, or a candle. That's why God invented perfume, so you don't have to put any thought into it whatsoever. <laughs> oh, uh, where did you manage to stick Jack in the end? Oh, they've got this great place, Ted, where you can put people who don't want to go shopping. They can just stay there and have a laugh. Really? Never where heard of that. Where is that? But there are other people there. Oh, loads of people, Ted. He'll be fine. <laughs> Perfume. Perfume. You think you'd be able to smell it? Where exactly are we now? Well, we're in the, um. In the. Laundry oh, thing. We're in the laundry. We're in the laundry. What's the problem there, Ted? Think about it. Two priests hanging around near ladies' secret things. It just doesn't look good. The astro. Where is the exit? Oh, shit. Oh, God, look, we're in bras. This way. It's like when Spongebob oh, no, and Patrick had to go for that I mean, fucking... Why did they need so many kinds of perfume section? Huh? I mean, what? Did they parade around in them looking in mirrors all the time? I mean, <laughs> different women have different sizes, my dude. Billy! Terry! <laughs> Ted! Ted Quilly! How are you? Good to see you both. We got a bit lost in the store, that's why we're here. We got a bit lost. <laughs> I suppose that's why you're here as well. Lost? Uh, yes, yes, right. Yes, yes, yes of course. Yes, 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 lost. We're lost. <laughs> I don't suppose you know the way out of here. It's uh, Ireland's biggest lingerie section, I understand. Really? Yeah, yes. I read that somewhere. But, you know, the best idea is for us to get out of here as quickly as possible. You know, four priests hanging around the um, freely section. Yes, I see what you mean. Yeah. Let's, let's try this way. Weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> No, 
No. Wait a second. We've been here. I remember these brass from the first time round. Oh, they all look the same to me. No, no. These ones have double padding and the black lace outlines, along with the little cotton supports and the extra strength straps. If we pass by a bra with a middle arch support and single padding and the white lace outline, then I think we're on the right track. Someone's coming. Hey, <laughs> Grilly! God, are we glad to see you. What happened to you? We were looking for the toilets and we wandered in here by mistake. Get out! It's huge! It's Ireland's biggest laundry section, I understand. Right, this is the situation. We have eight priests hanging around the laundry section. Yeah. There's one or two of us. <laughs> That'll be embarrassing. But eight? We're talking national scandal. What are we going to do? All the aisles look the same. Right, first thing, don't panic. We're in this thing. Let's try and get out of it, OK? Yeah. Billy, I want you on point. Father Cleary, Father Deegan, you take up the back. Let's go. And keep it quiet. <laughs> we're here to learn about Jesus. You can do this, man. <laughs> I wonder if you can still smoke in stores around here. You can't really do that here anymore. Can you smoke in stores where you're at? <laughs> Probably depends on the place. Okay. Hang in there. Shut up, okay? What is it? I thought I heard someone. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Like so long. <laughs> oh no, women. I don't think they're souls. You take a rest, Father. Father Riley, you go on point. <laughs> okay, Father Deegan. There's no way out. There's just no way out. <laughs> You've got this, man. No reason to panic. Damn it, Deegan. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. You don't expect this kind of thing of the priesthood. I only left the seminary two weeks ago. If they find out I'll never get a decent parish, they'll send me off to some bloody kit. What are we gonna do? Listen to me. I'm gonna make you a promise. One day, you and I, we're gonna be in that new parish of yours, sipping iced tea on the lawn. And so all be just a memory. Can you hold on to that thought? Can you can you do that for me? Good man. Oh, let's get you up. Oh, it's my oh, he's stupid carry him. I'm messing with the brass. Go on ahead, Lordy, slow you down. Listen, we're a team. We're sticking together. Come on. Yes, I knew he was going to do it. Oh, I thought he was going to do like, the overhead carry thing. Oh, no. Where's the exit? Thank God. God, look at all those people. They definitely see us coming out. Maybe if you actually buy some underpants, then it wouldn't look so strange. They're women's underpants. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Attention, lady shoppers. Gifts for husbands, like pipes and slippers, are now Come available here. on the first floor. Who's got the most boring voice? What? Of the lot of us, who's got the most boring voice? Not it'll be me, Ted. Nice. Listen, I have an awful dreary, monotonous voice going on. Yes, 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 yes. Listen, Ted, were you asking for a dramatic, exciting voice? No, he said boring. He wanted a boring yeah. voice. In that case, you must excuse me for my impetuous interruption. You're welcome. Listen, I mean, this it's is okay. What going to do. What's going on? I think Ted has a plan. Fuck yeah. No, I mean in general. <laughs> I can't find our way out of the laundry section. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, could you please bring your purchases to the checkout as the store is about to close? Hurry up. Come on. Hurry up, will you? <laughs> Not that way for fix sake. The other way. <laughs> Go! Yes! Go, Go men! Get the fuck out of there, man. Let's get it. You did it. You did it, man. Oh. What's wrong, Dougal? Ah, it's just three lads pointing at a star head. That's a bit <laughs> disappointing. Why? Well, what's that got to do with Christmas? 
Bro, <sighs> how did you I become a priest? The Catholic scandal supplement about the laundry episode. I think we got away with it. Nice. Hola. H hello. Uh, Craggy Island Parochial House. Father Ted Crilly speaking. Hello, Ted. What the Tom fuck? Tom McCaskill here. <laughs> hello, Tom. How are you? <laughs> and where are you? You left in an awful hurry. I'm in Rome. Oh, when are you coming back? When things have died down a bit, I might have to head off to South America for a while. Mm. You know, she's going to write a bloody book about it. Ah, uh, no, that's not fair. <laughs> I'll never catch up with you about that Lourdes thing. It was looking a wee bit dodgy there for a while. Just, just let me st stop you right, right, right there, Tom. Uh, that money was just resting in my account at the time. <laughs> Shut up, Google. <laughs> anyway, Ted, we owe you a big favour for getting the lads out of trouble the other day. We'd like you to have a golden cleric. Whoa! Let's get it. A golden cleric? You're not serious. No, I'm dead. deadly serious. Oh, God, I... I don't feel worthy when I think of all the other priests who've won it. Alberto! Alberto, please! <laughs> you deserve it. You managed to avert a very tricky situation and yeah. prevent another scandal in the church. Father Billy and the rest of the lads will drop the award over to you tomorrow. Nice. Oh, and is there a... Sorry about this, but is there, um, is there any sort of cash prize with that? <laughs> I'm afraid not, Ted. We're a bit strapped for cash here at the moment. Are you? Anyway... See you soon. Lion ass. <laughs> Crap, Dougal, bullshit, fantastic maybe. news. You're getting married. No, I'm not. <laughs> what is wrong is with joke? you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm Jesus being given Dougal. a golden cleric award. <laughs> Oh, God, I'll have to write a speech. It'll have to be absolutely brilliant. It's not every day you win an award. Award! Uh, no, no, Father, you can't have an award. Why not? Award! Award! Yes, award! award! Yes, award! Yes, Father! Award! Yes, Father! Award! Yes, Father! Yes, there you are. Right! Photo! Photo! Dougal, <laughs> take a photograph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ted! Can I stay up tomorrow night to watch the scary film? Oh, no, 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 no. The last time you watched a scary film, you had to sleep in my bed. I wouldn't mind, but it wasn't even that scary a film. <laughs> Come on now, Ted. A Volkswagen with a mind of its own. <laughs> Driving all over the place and going mad. Yeah. But that's not scary. I don't know what is. Dougal, it's a children's film. If you can't deal with that, how on earth are you going to be able to take a film about a burglar who runs into people's houses and kills everybody? Is that, is that what this one's about? Yes! <sighs> <laughs> Was it Halloween? Weird time to show Halloween, but... What the goddamn fuck did you do? You literal five-year-old. If you want to meet priests your own age, listen in on the latest gossip, or simply have a bit of a laugh. Then call Priest Chat back and speak to priests you want to know. I thought it was a sex offender couple. Maybe it is. Yeah. Hold on. No. Just, just don't. No. No. Just. No. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. No. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. She's fine. Right. I got the presentation case for my award. Oh, great, Ted. Fantastic. Nice. I think I'll put it here. Over the creaky floorboard. If any robbers come in and try to rob my award, we'll hear them. Very few priests get this award, you know. Yeah. It'll mean I'll be one of the top priests in the country wow. when I get right. my award. Oh, right. right. <laughs> did you hear what I was saying there? Yes. I, I'm one of the top priests in the country. Did you hear that? I said it there just a second yes, ago. Yes, we heard. Everyone. I did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's not before time, Father. I always thought you were one of the best priests in the country. Thank you very much, Mrs. Doyle. One of the best? Or maybe the best? <laughs> Go on, Mrs. Doyle. Honestly, would you say I'm the best priest in the country at the moment? No. Actually, yes. Well... If you don't think I'm the best priest in the country, just say so. I honestly won't mind. I'd say you might be the second best. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I mean... No, it's, it's all right. I'm not the best priest in the country. I'm honey, the second best. There's somebody better than me, apparently. Well, Father, I was just thinking of those priests who work in very poor areas. Oh, yes, of course. Those lads. Father Archbishop Desmond Tutu and the likes. 
Well, I think Archbishop Tutu is a Protestant man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Oh, great. So, Protestant is better than me. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no need to continue this. I'm not the best. I'm just second best. Apparently, the Golden Cleric is a runner-up prize. Well, I'm so sorry. Obviously, I'm just an idiot. Obviously, I can't even say mass properly. Father, I was no, just... No, don't take it back. That's what you said. You said I'm not the best priest in the Are country. Are you on your period? That's fine. I just want to know where I stand. Obviously, now I'm going to have to jack it in. What? I'm what? in the priesthood. What? Father! No! I'm going to write a letter to Bishop Brennan asking for early retirement, and maybe when I go, you can ask the other priest, Father... Peter Perfect, the perfect priest, to come here and you can work for him since he's obviously such a great priest. Motherfucker to let. Oh my god. Well, the thing to make this more dramatic would be Dust in the Wind by Kansas. <laughs> All we are is dust in the wind. I close my. Oh! <laughs> Sorry about that. Get your knee, Jet. Wait there till I get you. Run! <laughs> What the fuck? The second, the second. Are you all right? Ah, 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 hey! <laughs> She's fucking dead. You want to know. Welcome to Priest Chat Bank. If you are under 18 or not a priest, please hang up now. If you wish to speak about the Pope's visit to Mexico, say yes now. If you want to speak about being vaguely unhappy but not being able to figure out exactly why, say yes now. Oh, oh wait, yes, yes. Hello, 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 hello. 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 Yes. Is that being vaguely unhappy but not being able to figure out exactly why? No. This is how to break the news of a death. We were just oh. talking about techniques. I say it's best to just get it over with quickly. Your husband's dead, and he's not coming back. Get used to it. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> but sometimes a few little yeah. hints help, like, uh, remember how your husband used to love a good laugh? Yeah, but you see, my problem is that I, I should be on top of the world because I've been given an award, but the fact of the matter is that I... <laughs> Stupid priest! <laughs> this is a priest-only line. Are you priests? are a bunch of wankers. <laughs> <laughs> Father, Poor priest. while you were out for your walk, we had a phone call. I think you were supposed to do a funeral today. <gasps> a funeral? I completely forgot about it. It's all right. <laughs> Father Maguire said he'd do it. <laughs> Douglas, do your funeral! You let Douglas do your funeral! Freeman. <laughs> well... Now we're gonna have to have another funeral. Oh, Ted, it's no use. I'm just so excited about Christmas, I can't sleep. Dougal, you'll never get to sleep like that. <laughs> You'd have a much better chance of sleeping if you got off the bike. All right. What are you How's the funeral? Oh, I'm just writing my speech for tomorrow. God, it's brilliant so far. Yes, what do you put in speeches? You'd normally thank everybody, wouldn't you? Yeah. No, not in this case, Dougal. You see, I got this award through my own initiative and hard graft, so there's nobody else to thank you except myself. 
Uh, actually, that's a good idea. I'll thank myself. Wow. Is that the speech? No, these are, these are just the notes, really. <laughs> now, see here, for example, this is a list of people who've really fecked me over down the years. <laughs> Father Jimmy Fennell, he really needs taking down a peg or two. And Father PJ Clabbert, oh, wait a minute, he's on the wrong list. He should be under liars rather than twats. <laughs> Last I get a chance to shine. Same thing, To stand huh? out. To be recognised. I recognise you. Look, it's Ted. <laughs> no, do I mean recognition of my, my abilities, of my achievements. All oh, right. And, and what achievements are these? Wow. <laughs> Dust in the wind. Are we Shut up, Dougal. <laughs> um, hope Larry Duff's coming. Catch my big moment. Actually, I'll give him a call. <laughs> hope he makes it. <laughs> Larry's tremendous fun, you know. He loves award ceremonies. Oh, my God. That background. You gonna kill Larry? Ah! <gasps> Oh, Larry! Oh! Oh! Larry's fucking dead. Wait, no. He's on holidays. Well, I won't disturb him. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try him. and get to sleep one more time. Ah, it's no use. Bruh. Dougal, here's a good way to get to sleep. Just try and empty your head of all thoughts. I tried that, bro. It doesn't work. I'll give it a go, but I really don't... <laughs> It doesn't work for me, I'm sorry, I've tried. People told me that too. So if you've already commented that, just empty your head of all thoughts. It doesn't work! It's ah, Jesus! Brilliant! A load of people in the stable, Ted! It's the one thing I didn't expect! <laughs> Dougal, aren't you going to open your presents? Oh, wow! Presents! <laughs> I completely forgot about the presents. First the calendar, now presents. <laughs> Can't get any better than this. Sure it can. <laughs> ah, brilliant! Happy Christmas, Mrs. Doyle. Oh, Father, you shouldn't have. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a box. It's a... <laughs> you know, I was racking my brains trying to think, what would Mrs. Doyle really love for Christmas? And then I thought, you know, something to take the misery out of making tea. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Doyle, the days of housekeepers making tea are over. We can't live in the dark ages. You've made your last cup of tea in this house. Thank you, Father. <laughs> if I know people the way I think I do, you, she really loves that. She did. <laughs> brilliant, Ted! <laughs> Ole! How did you know? I uh, know, don't think I hadn't noticed those little hints you left lying around the place. <laughs> <laughs> present! 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on! Happy Christmas. Back off! <laughs> Who could that be? Oh, ceremony isn't until two. Father, it's... Ted! Jazz hair! Yeah, hello there. <laughs> I haven't missed the ceremony, have I? No, no, not at all. You haven't changed a bit. You're a rascal. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you, look at you. You haven't changed either. <laughs> what? Well, what about the hair? All oh, right, well, the hair, it's a, it's a, it's a different shape. Colour? Colour, colour, yes, of course. It, it used to be... Red. Brown. Blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Hello there, are you back? I suppose he told you all about me. No. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> hey, tell you what. Why don't you stick the old name and address in the, uh, the book, you know? Especially the name. Very important that you write the name very, very clearly. Uh, I'd love to, Ted, but I can't really write. You see, one time last year I was running with scissors and I fell, and the nerve that controls handwriting was completely severed. Wow! What a coincidence! Father, are you not going to introduce me to the new father? <laughs> All right. All right, of course. Yeah. 
the drink. Who are you? Actually, I'll tell you what. See if you can guess. Guess? <laughs> Come on, have a go. Godfather, sure it could be anything. <laughs> Still, though, give it a try. <laughs> Father Andy Riley. No. <laughs> Father Desmond Coyne. Father George Byrne. No. Father David Nicholson. Father Declan Lynch. I'll give you a clue. No clues! <laughs> I'll get it in a second. <laughs> Father Ken Sweeney. Father Neil Hannon. Father Hulk Hogan. Keith Cullen. Father, Father John Kieran Cena. Donnelly. Father Mick McAvoy. Father, Father John Jack Travolta. White. Father Henry Big Bigging. <laughs> Father Hank Tree. Father Alexander Father Graham Bell. Twinkie. <laughs> Father Stig Bubble Card. Father Hiroshima. Father Johnny Hells of Hoppin'. Father Luke Duke. Father the Fat Boy Winch Japan. <laughs> Father Billy Furry. No. Father Chewy Lou. Father War Prime. <laughs> Father John Hoop. Father, Father why the fuck did Hitler invade Russia when they were friends? <laughs> Father Rabula Conundrum. Father, what the fuck is wrong with you, Hitler? Father Pee Wee Stairmaster. Nope. Father Tight Head Lips. Father, you had it Father in the bag Jemima and you fucked it up and tried to invade Russia and they burned the earth and they turned it to the US Father and they signed to Britain and then everyone Father then you fucked you up and Hitler committed suicide Father in World War II ended. Father Todd Unctious. Yes! Well done! Father World War Three. <laughs> Father Quick Hicks for your is that it, really? Did, did you get it? Ah, come on, Ted, you knew already. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. I, I was just amazed that she got it in, wow, well under an hour. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> so, Todd. <laughs> Todd, Todd, Todd. <laughs> old Todd. There you are now, Todd. Good old Todd. <laughs> How are you getting on there, Todd? <laughs> How are you fixed for a cup of tea, Todd? Or would you prefer a hot toddy, Todd? <laughs> Anything you want, Todd. Anything at all, Todd. Todd. What time is the ceremony, Ted? Well, Todd, it's not really a ceremony. I'm sure it'll be just a very plain, simple affair. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, it's zero. Two, 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 two. Oh, we get mad feedback here, Sean. Sean. <laughs> Excited, Ted. <Well>. Yes. <laughs> Something to tell the grandchildren about. Rep. No, I need to bring in a class from that. Okay, well, you'll need to cue me. I'll be looking, Fine. sir. Also, won't be able okay, to see you. Okay, no problems. Okay. So, up, up look, look, down. Hebrews range and mercy. Can't a relic make it. Tell you what, change the dominus to Canis. Right. Sorry. I'm sorry, what's your name? Sean. Sean. Sorry, I don't mean to get at you, but I just need you there on the day. You know, a second or two and I'm dead out here. Is anybody organised around here? You don't want to talk to me. You want to talk to that priest over there? Who? Right? Over there. The lads. When the rhythm kicks in and the song reveals itself through the counter rhythm, I want you there and I want you ready. Okay? <laughs> Anyhow, where's Todd? I thought he wanted to see this. Hi, who's Ted and who's Dougal? Uh, I'm Ted and that's Dougal there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dougal. He's Ted. I need you over the stage, Father. Why does he need you by the stage? He, he, no, he must mean me. Uh oh. Look. Done. Ted. Dick Mayo. Hello. Congratulations to the Golden Cleric. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Ted, have you ever thought about doing any television work? Well, had crossed my mind. Yes. yes. Do you have an agent? No. I'll tell you what. I'll give this lady a call. It's done wonders for me. Well done, man. Father Eric Sweeney. Right. Parochial house is burnt down. Thank you. What? Is he a robber? <laughs> Drink. 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 Good afternoon and welcome to the fifth annual presentation of the Golden Cleric. Every year the Catholic Church gives an award to a priest for outstanding achievement. 
This like year's winner is someone parody. who's overcome controversy in the past when rumors of financial irregularities threatened oh. his career in the no, future. No, 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 no! But following a thorough investigation, no formal charges no. were ever made against but him. But he was just resting in my account. Even though authorities were confused by what they saw as bizarre irregularities in his accounts. Not enough of that now. But he's overcome all these personal setbacks to become this year's Golden Cleric. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Father Ted Crilly. <laughs> Hope he doesn't start going on about himself and settling all scores in public. Oh, he's going to do that. Well, <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> I, uh, I see some familiar faces here today. Some welcome, some not so welcome. <laughs> it looks as if I've had the nice last eye patch. And a lot of people who really didn't think I had it in me to become a brilliant priest. Well, what I say to those people is, look at me now. <laughs> But eventually, I got out of his headlock. And now, where are you, Father Eamon Hunter? Working with some pygmies in the South Seas, and where am I? Here, accepting a Golden Cleric Award for being a top priest. <laughs> yes, of course. He thought it would be a great idea, great fun, to pour water on this young novice's mattress. But of course, 30 years later, the smile has been very much swiped off Father Barry Kiernan's face. Yeah, <laughs> fuck him. And now... We move on to liars. <laughs> Father Peter Sorrenton. Father Desmond Cairns. Remember him? Well done. Um, great speech, Ted. Yeah. It went well, didn't it? And yeah. you mean to tell me you was wandering around in there for three hours? Yes. What? It's Ireland's fuck? biggest lingerie section, I understand. <laughs> Everyone. Uh, all right. Uh, no, Mrs. Doyle, you can put that away and relax there. We're going to try out the tea master. How does it work, Ted? Well, can I not just put the milk in? No, you see, what you do is just leave the cup there, <laughs> slide in one of these cartridges here, and the tea just comes out there. Ah, simple. That's fantastic. Yes, well, now that I've won an award, I can hardly be seen drinking tea that's just been made in a pot. <laughs> the idea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why? What's he doing? Why did he even place Father Just Jack? Just seems too good to be true. What's the catch? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Father. Your voice is just so boring. I couldn't concentrate on what you're saying. <laughs> well, I do have an incredibly boring voice. Yeah. I was just saying. What's the catch? <laughs> sorry, didn't get it there either. <laughs> I've been thinking about the tea master thing. There must be some sort of a catch. Yeah. Oh, no. There's no catch. No. Just, just watch this. You see? Perfect. Oh, wow! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Father, um, uh, actually, there's someone. Uh, 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 there's actually someone. Are you all right there, Father? Yes, but it, it's actually quite hard to, to breathe. If you could just. Uh, what? I really am finding it just quite get hard. Up. What? Dougal, put on that music. What? Put on the music that makes Father Jack stand up. What? <laughs> Wait. Oh no. I thought that was the other phrase. Disguise is Sorry about that. <laughs> oh! Father Jack likes us all to stand up when that bit of music comes on. <laughs> sing, 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 Gabriel. La 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 la. Spark my headphones and let me go. Ah, oh, shit, we're still doing this. Oh, damn it. Yes. Again, again. Father, will you have a go at this with me? Get away. Uh, I know, Father, it's just a bit of fun. Ah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's dead. Yes, well, we, uh, we sort of thought Father Jack was jumping through that window a little too often. That's why we put in the plexiglass. Nice! Anyway, my speech. What did you think of it? 
We all have a look at the Christmas film. Yes! <laughs> that was Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. And now, a special extended Latin mass from St. Martin's Cathedral in Dublin. <laughs> oh, great. Mass. mass. <laughs> God, I just remembered, I'm supposed to be doing something terribly important. And, and the, the thing I'm supposed to be doing, I just remembered, I've, I've got to telephone this fella on death row that I befriended recently. Yeah? Because he's being executed tomorrow. <laughs> For mass murder. So, you know, I would say he's pretty low at the moment. God almighty, and did he do it? I don't know. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> do you want any help what? talking to him? Because he might get hysterical and start crying. And I could say, pull yourself together, man. All right. There's been a big accident, so I should go too. <laughs> I've got a phone call there. <laughs> While you were all... Uh, <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> so, uh, right, so, we're all off, so... Father Unctious, you're coming oh, to work to get your lift. Uh, no, I'll stay a while. Ah, oh, great! Mass! <laughs> Father Alton Crosby is doing it. I'm a huge fan of his. He gives good mass. He what? He really, he really knows how to work the altar. Look at that chalice work. Who is this Effortless. guy? Effortless. What is his oh, well, game? We'd be off, so uh, see you all soon. <laughs> right. We got like 15 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> what is this? Bye. What is this guy's game? Thanks for coming to the award ceremony where I got my award. Yeah. <laughs> what is... What is this guy playing at? I'm so confused. What is... Uh, by the way, I thought earlier it was him disguised as Father Jack sitting in the chair, not just a random guy. That's why I was like, why is he? But no, it's not. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. But like, I thought he had like taken Father Jack's place and kidnapped him or some shit. Yeah, I... Now on BBC One, the director's cut of Jurassic Park with extra dinosaurs. Nice! <laughs> well, that was a fantastic day. Oh, it was, Ted. It was a brilliant day. Fantastic fun. I'd say it was one of the best Christmas days ever. Yeah. Dougal, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, so was I. <laughs> Who's that fella, Todd Unctious? I didn't invite him, did you? Huh? No, that's right, I barred you from inviting people to the house after that tramp stayed for a week. <laughs> Remember that when I was away? That wasn't a tramp, Ted. That was the Prime Minister of France. <laughs> no, Dougal, he just lied to you. <laughs> My God. Todd Unctious. I don't remember him at all. Who the hell is he? Maybe he had a nickname, like, you know, Terry Wogan. Terry Wogan? <laughs> What's his nickname? What? You mean that's his real name? <laughs> Hulk Hogan for anyway, me. don't worry about it, Ted. Sure, he'll be gone in the morning. <laughs> there you are. Hello there. <laughs> Look at you lying in there like a big agent. Is he a rapist? Well, here we all are now. All the lads. <laughs> Just like in the old days, eh? Do you remember all the fun we used to have in the showers? <laughs> Is he a do rapist? You still, do you still have the big oil hairy arse? <laughs> fluff, Todd. That, that, that wasn't hair. That was a bit of downy fluff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Memories. Do you remember the time you all mitched off to the Dana concert? I couldn't go because I was recovering from a massive car accident. <laughs> Did I show you the scar? There you are. See that crescent shape there? God, yes, yes. And that series of tiny little indentations all along me inner thigh. <laughs> That's really, really, um... They run the whole way up to me groin. Oh, hey, 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 um, <laughs> what are we watching the pictures? I really fancy seeing a good film. Ah, oh, Ted, it's half past one in the morning. <laughs> 
Right. You go off to sleep. I was just wandering around. Sometimes I can't sleep and I need a good walk to calm myself down. You don't mind, do you? No, 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 no. You do that. All right, so. Good night. And... <laughs> what is... Happy Christmas, Ted. What is... I'm so confused at what his game is. Man. Is he a rapist? Like I'm God Almighty, Doobie. I'm not going out of this room until tomorrow. I don't want to risk bumping into that weirdo in his nudiness. Good night, Doobie. before you come up, won't you? And uh, please, don't slam the door. Didn't turn off the light? Oh! <laughs> oh, rip. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, no. Hey, you've ruined his life twice. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's fucking dead. Like, he's, he's straight dead. He's not alive anymore. Oh! He's a super spy! Fuck the tea master. But why? Why do you want the golden cleric? Weird bald man. Uh oh. <laughs> I think it's safe to say the burglar is definitely in the room. <laughs> there he is! Where? Now! Paris! Oh, do good, do good, do good. You have nightmares. Uh oh. Nice! I thought I told you not to watch that film. Uh, uh, Ted, no, I wasn't watching it, Ted. Yes, you I were. just came down to uh, walk, uh, carry the milk around. <laughs> Go on, Dougal, up to bed with you. <laughs> President Robinson, well done on everything. <laughs> Mr. De Niro. Bob, Bob, I loved you in Godfather 2. <laughs> Todd. <laughs> he won't be doing any more burglaries where he's going. Oh, where's that? Well, uh, prison. Uh, yeah. Yes, of course, of course, sorry. But, Sergeant, tell me, how did you know so much about me? I'm curious about that myself. Unctious, if that's your real name. I already told you it wasn't. How did you know so much about Father Crilly? Is this off the record? Of course. Well, I was in Selridge a few days ago. Got talking to this old priest in a bar. <laughs> he was a bit cagey at first, but a few shots of JD and he was singing like a bird. A golden you. cleric, they call him. Giving it to an old pal of mine, Ted Crilly. Met him on Dolly Man Strand. As I listened, a plan formed in my head. We drank long into the night, me paying, of course. 
Uh -huh. Him spilling his guts on the subject of a certain father, Tad Crilly. You got a mane of white hair, kind of like you get on a mule. <laughs> used to wet the bed and send columns. <laughs> Big hairy ass. <laughs> the longer he talked, the better it got. <laughs> Lives with a big ignorant old timer named Jack Hackett and a poor, oh, strange idiot boy. He just looks like <laughs> Why? Hey, you know so much. After that, all I needed was the right costume. Out of nowhere. <laughs> God damn, housekeeper. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> You're a priest. I mean, why? Ah, it's a long story. I used to be like you. A completely average, bog-standard, run-of-the-mill cleric. If that took an error to the Then me. I won first prize in the County West Meat Priest of the Year competition. <laughs> I guess it went to my head. After that, I started hitting the altar wine too hard. Going easy on people in confession. <laughs> Getting backhanders for doing quicker masses. All I wanted was trophies and prizes. But the one that really got me hard was the Golden Cleric. No, 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 Todd. Uh, what I was going to ask you is, uh, you're a priest. I mean, why did you take the other priest's clothes? No, I don't know. It was just going that way. <laughs> well, I've got bad news for you, so-called Todd Unctious. That wasn't off the record. I'm using that as evidence against you. Wow. Ah, that's completely unfair. <laughs> take him away. Yeah, he told uh, Thanks, Sergeant. Sergeant. You'll be a reward in this, Father. You both should be very proud of yourselves. <laughs> a reward? <laughs> Not such a bad day after all. <laughs> well done, Fathers. Now. Uh oh. <laughs> nice! <laughs> that's what's up. That's a, that's a handy old thing you have there, Mrs. Doyle, huh? Modern technology. It's brilliant, isn't it? Fuck it yeah. is indeed. And thanks again, Father. It's the best Christmas present ever. What about the tea machine? Oh, <laughs> yes. I'll go and crank it up right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, no, I don't like the sound of that at all. I'm sorry, Mrs Doyle. We're just going to have to get it fixed. Oh, no, Father, don't, please. What? Father, I love the whole tea-making thing. You know, the playful splash of the tea as it hits the bottom of the cup. The thrill of adding the milk and watching it settle for a moment before it filters slowly down through the cup, changing the colour from dark brown to... A lighter brown. <laughs> Perching an optional Jaffa cake on the saucer. Like a, a proud soldier standing to attention beside a giant cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just think, Father. Remember all the great times we had when I used to make the tea? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Mrs. Doyle. You know, tea out of a machine is like milk out of a baby's bottle. The baby doesn't want it out of a bottle. He wants it out of his mother's... Titty. Anyway, <laughs> why don't you just go and make us both a nice, normal cup of tea? Right, oh, Father. And don't you worry. It'll be terrific. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible pun. <laughs> Oh, Gee, Jack laughing in the background. Hell, Dougal. <laughs> you know, Dougal, the priesthood, it's not about awards and glamour. Yeah. It's about hard graft and attending to the spiritual needs of your parishioners. And you Jesus. You know that Todd Unctious fellow? That could have been me. Really? <laughs> ah, that explains a lot. <laughs> uh, no, Dougal, I don't think you picked up on what I meant there. I could have been a bad priest, you know. I could have been lazy, arrogant, not giving a damn about the needs of my parishioners. Uh, Ted, it's Mrs. Gilcuddy. She wants you to do one of those remembrance masses. I'm not in. All right. 
Uh, he's not in. Uh, okay, bye. You know, Dougal, I'm sorry about my recent silliness. You know, fuck the remembrance. You this award as much as me. Really? Thanks, Ted. That's great. Thanks very much. Well, why don't we just leave it in the case? Oh, you be better, I suppose, yeah. And uh, my name on the plaque, we won't bother changing that. All right. I, I know the award's mine, and that's good enough for me. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to have a bath, you know, help me calm down after the day. Go do okay. another funeral, Dougal. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you doing? He's evil. Oh, just having a bit of a laugh. That's a heel turn right there. Oh my god. Cross him up. Fuck them kids. Cross him up. Fuck them kids! Not literally though, I know how priests can get. You know what I mean. Uh oh. That's unfortunate. Hey! Littering! Motherfuckers. Can't be doing that. It's illegal. I think. Well, boys and girls, the moral at the end of the story is don't let awards get to your head. And, you know, just your fame can turn people into dicks, I guess. <laughs> I mean, that's true, though. It's a good moral. It's pretty true. Fame can turn people into dicks. So just don't get famous. <laughs> or no, if you get famous, just don't be a dick. You know, like you got to a lot of people get famous and aren't fucking ready for it. And, you know, it fucking changes them. Fame's gonna change you either way, but, like, you gotta at least be prepared, not, you know, let it make you into a bad person. Because that happens more often than not, you know? You see all these people are like, oh, man, they got famous, and then, you know, it just, it, you know, it just happens. They go, they go to shit as people. That's just how it happens. But, that is gonna do it for my reaction to uh, the Father Ted Christ Special Christy Ted long one. Uh, That's gonna be around an hour-long video. My God. Yeah, I... That, that that just took multiple turns, that man did, that, that Todd, Todd. First, I thought he was just a weirdo. Then I thought he was a rapist. Turns out he was a burglar. I mean, he's a priest, so he still could be a rapist. But, you know, these Catholic priest jokes do anything for you? They're not really jokes. Shit happens. People aren't doing enough about it, but, you know. Um, <laughs> but... That is going to do it for my fourth reaction to Father Ted. Um, I remember the third Father Ted reaction I did did incredibly well. I think that video has like over 40,000 views now. So as long as these videos keep doing well, I'll keep reacting to Father Ted in the future. I'm really excited for this Christmas month. I think this is a great video to kick it off on. Uh, and y'all will be back here in two days with another one. But that is going to do it for my reaction to Father Ted. Christmas see Ted. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch where I stream every single day, my second channel for your views, my Twitter if you want to follow me, my Patreon if you want to support me on my Vimeo, all those things are in the description. Uh, thank you to all 30 of my patrons who can support me and my channel. You're all named in the description. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And also in the description, find a link to my Reddit. If you want to join a community Reddit, uh, we have a suggestions thread. Uh, you can suggest me reaction videos. We have a list of videos I've already reacted to. If the, your YouTube sub box doesn't work, and that's janky sometimes, I post all the videos that I... Uh, I post all my videos there every day. You can interact with me or Rob or other members of the community, post memes, see memes, people posted, whatever. So we got 60 people in a red right now. If you want to join, it's in the description. Uh, and also in the description is linked to the schedule where I post uh, what, where you can see what's going to be posted on the channel every single day. With all that being said, though, my name is Tavrix Teen. This has been my reaction to Father Ted at Christmas Eve Ted. See you guys next time.